Hey friends, welcome to my new video. Now I'm in the Moscow airport waiting for a plane to Armenia. I'm super excited because I'm going to attend a wedding of my friend there. And yeah, I'm sure it's going to be super interesting, so keep watching. Already on the plane, the Caucasus mountains began to be seen, and in the end we saw the Saint Mountain Ararat. It was the first airport when I saw that they were checking certificate of COVID test with such details, they were checking all the passport number, names and so on. This is our hotel which is located exactly in the city center. I lived in a room with a girl Vita, a friend of the bride whom I met firstly in the airport. The price of the room was $70 per night. After checking, the first thing I did was changing the money and yeah guys, this is the bank. Anna, who is the most beautiful woman? <laughs> Later I met other guys who came for the wedding and we had lunch. So I'm already for like 5 hours in Armenia and to be honest I didn't leave the hotel yet only i went to change the money in the bank by the way it looks just gorgeous i really like it um yeah and now i'm actually working because i have a day off tomorrow which is gonna be friday and we'll have like a big like a big day full of adventures we'll visit a lot of beautiful places here and yeah the, on saturday they're gonna be waiting on sunday uh, there is another program and probably Monday, Tuesday, the half of the day I'm gonna go somewhere uh, and the, another part of the day I'm gonna work because I actually can't take any more days off because it's actually my new job. Uh, but I actually love this atmosphere, like working in the hotel world, I don't know, it's something new in my life. <laughs> So friends, it's around 10 p.m. I just finished working and decided to take a short work around. I don't think I will go really far away because last night with this flight I hadn't slept at all. And yeah, <laughs> I think I will just walk a little bit, maybe have a small snack and we'll go to sleep. Now we came to the part of Yerevan, the Republic Square, and yes, it looks fantastic. This is the cinema that called Moskva, means Moscow. <laughs> really guys, it's so cute here, it's so nice to walk around. I really like it. I've been in Armenia, I think four years ago, uh, my aunt, she's half Armenian. Uh, I mean, we are not related by blood, but she is the wife of my uncle. And I visited her once here. I mean, she lives in Moscow, but she came here for a few months and I visited. It was an amazing experience, amazing trip. And now with this wedding, oh, I love it. I love it a lot. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know where I'm walking to. Just, just around and look what the beautiful church here. Actually, it's super rare to see the mountain Ararat like that because usually it's in the clouds and last time when I've been in Armenia, I haven't seen Ararat like fully like that.
So here we came to a really beautiful church with an amazing view of Ararat. And even though Ararat is a saint mountain here for Armenian people, but it's located in Turkey actually. And you can see already the borders here. I'm not sure if you will be able to see this in the video, but there is like a tower. Uh, the green one, it's uh, the territory of Armenia. And then there is a tower with like, I think it's a white color. It's already the part of Turkey. An interesting fact that Armenia became the first country who adopted Christianity as a state religion and this incredibly beautiful monastery is located about the underground prison, which is look like that. When I've been to Armenia last time, um, we met first day the taxi driver and then we had an amazing conversation and my aunt and I decided maybe it's better to drive all the time with him. He agreed. He was a really amazing person. He was super kind and was telling a lot of interesting information. And I still remember how he told me. I hope with my English I will explain this correctly. So uh, locals, Armenian people believe that uh, Ararat is the highest mountain in the world because if I'm not making a mistake, the height of the mountain, they measure it from the sea, uh, and, but the mountain also go down to the ground. And if, like, if taking in account the heights under the ground, the Ararat will be the highest one. I'm not 100% uh, sure about this information, but that's what I still remember, it just stuck in my mind, and that's what locals believe. When you drive for Armenia, you immediately notice how simple the local people live. It's almost impossible to see any bright tall houses. Usually, these are ordinary stone buildings. Later, we arrived at the Norwank Monastery, which is located on the top of the mountain. It was built in the 13th and 14th century, and the name of the monastery translates as a new temple. It's actually really interesting that they make a window not straight and like strange size because um, like the person who created this church, she wanted that the lights uh, will go only to this place. After the monastery, we came to the cave, which is also called Cave of Birds. And the last spot of the tour for today was visiting a small village where we're gonna try some wine tasting. This is a small winery owned by a local family. They were really kind and we had a lunch there and it's worth noting that the wine was really amazing. The tour is finished, we came back to our hotel. I already uh, spent some time next to the swimming pool, but it's quite cold, I don't know why. So yeah, I think I'll have a light dinner and tomorrow it's wet. <laughs> Как настроение, как настрой? Непонятный. Я до сих пор не верю, что Оля выходит за. Вообще, такое ощущение, что мы приехали сюда как туристы, как бы. 
In a few hours we already will have a meeting with everybody, uh, the relatives of the groom will come to the hotel, it's so excited and little nervous for example is the sister of my best friend and my best friend she was like super nervous in the morning. <laughs> Friends, I'm so happy. I really like how it's turned out. It looks so beautiful, and really, I feel I feel so good now. And the waiting starts in two hours. Uh, firstly, in the hotel, then we'll go uh, to the church and then to the restaurant. But yeah, oh my God, I already saw the picture of Ola with her hair. She she just looks incredibly beautiful. Oh my God, I can't wait to see her in the dress. Mm. Really, they organized everything so perfectly. It was incredibly beautiful. There were a lot of beautiful girls and guys, and also, of course, the wife. Her name is Ola. She was just the most beautiful one. This cave is just wow, it's so beautiful. This church, like, I have no words. But the only thing that the roads here are just horrible, and we're in the high shoes, and this was such a mistake. By the way, there was another wedding, and the groom with the bride came with helicopter. <laughs> And after the church, we came to an incredible restaurant, which is located in the mountains. It's so beautiful here. The organization is amazing. And yeah. It's written here, Vladimir and Olga, the name of now wife and husband. As far as I understood, according to the traditions in Armenia, lavash is placed on the shoulders of the bride and groom, and later the groom's mother feeds the couple with honey, so they manage to be sweet. Since Ola is Russian, her mother brought a traditional Russian love, which husband and wife should take a bite. Whose piece will be bigger, the one gonna be the boss. Also, every serving of food was a real show. Really, guys, I wouldn't get tired telling you that it was amazing. The next day after the wedding, we arrived at the Temple of Garni. In the 17th century, it was destroyed due to earthquake, but in the time, it was restored. And trust me, it's incredibly beautiful. But the day after the wedding, we almost haven't slept, so I don't think I will make a lot of videos today. I'm still tired, but now we came to Garni Fortress. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So just enjoy these views and come to visit it yourself.
And the last place of the tour of that day was visiting the most tricky card. A lot of people like this place the most, and me too. It's really powerful, it's really atmospheric, and the views around are just wonderful. Here you can make a wish and then throw a stone into the hole of the mountain, and if the stone will stay there, the wish will come true. Inside the church you can take a saint water, and trust me, the line for taking it was just huge. This monastery impressed me the most last time when I was visiting it because the mountain is so famous. Later we returned to Yerevan, the capital of Armenia, and we went to the beer festival and trust me, it was super atmospheric. I truly advise you to go to this tavern, the food was incredible, and we came there to celebrate Rita's birthday. Oh! Of course we had to try local food, it's tarhun, lemonade, amazing. Well, I also took tether, not so local, but then dalma with the meat, it's also so good. Then hachipuri, I love it just a lot, and hinkali. Good morning friends, today is a chill day. Actually, I was thinking I will record some like tour around the city, but it's so hot now, so probably I will do it tomorrow before I start working. And yeah, firstly, now we are going to Berin Sage. It's an open market where you can buy local souvenirs. I know I want to buy something from Silva because it's, it should be really cheap here. Also, I find some presents to my mom. And this flower I bought to my mom as a present. <laughs> By the way, I'm just in love with my new glasses. If you watch my vlogs from uh, Greece, you know that my best friend has a sister, Tanimfi, and she presented me these. Oh my god, I love it. I think I'm just a fan of glasses. Friends, if you like my content and want to support my channel, you can become one of my patrons. And I just sent a few postcards to one of you who already became. And yeah, like thank you so much guys for your support. I really appreciate this. It's really important. And if you think that few dollars would make a difference, trust me, it will. And then working again. Now we are walking along the Northern Avenue, it's one of the most popular streets here in Yerevan. It's surrounded by different shops, cafes, looks really atmospheric and amazing. Just look how nice it's here with a small lake in the middle of the city center. Like, come on, so atmospheric. The Yerevan seems so modern. Like, it's combination be a little bit with, uh, between Asian and European. And when you're walking there, it's super enjoyable. And also, I feel myself really safe there walking alone. Uh, I love it and I advise you to visit the city and the country. Here we came to Cascade. It's actually it's a museum that's located on the top of the hill, and there are more than 800 stairs. St stairs, that's stairs. Um, not so sure. Uh, I'm really tired now, to be honest, after working. And yeah, I don't think I will go up right now, but maybe tomorrow in the morning before starting working again. But it definitely looks really beautiful. I actually, four years ago at night, I already like went up on this and I would really love to see how it looks, you know, from the daylight. So yeah, tomorrow guys. Yes, it's a new day, my last day in like, I think in around six hours I will already go to airport. And yeah, that's time to go up to Cascada. Let's go.
the land out to the viewpoint but to be honest right there when the stairs are finishing i think it's more beautiful and you don't see this reconstruction things um, but still view is amazing totally advise you to go up be sure to check out this restaurant the food was great there as well Also one interesting fact about Armenian people is that there are only 3 million people living in the country and 9 million are living abroad. It's probably happened like as we talk with the locals, most, mostly it happened because of genocide and earthquakes that are like pretty often in this region. But yeah, I know in Moscow a lot of Armenian people are living uh, as well as I know like in Europe you say like all around the world. And this is the Northern Avenue during the day. So my trip is coming to an end. I will go to the airport in five hours. Before that, I'm gonna work. And just I would like to say a small conclusion about it, uh, about this trip. I know that I haven't show you everything about Yerevan or Armenia. There's so much more to see, so much more to do but it was amazing the waiting was just gorgeous i'm so happy for my friends and i don't know this trip it was really special and full of love full of really great emotions i'm super happy about this and i just wanted to say that uh if you have any stretch ups about armenia just um, forget about them because many people are super kind super polite they will help you like anyhow like anything they can do they'll help you i don't remember a story that the taxi driver when we just came here told us that uh during the soviet union uh one russian guy came to armenia and in the first day his passport and money everything was stolen and just the taxi driver heard this and he took a holiday from his job and showed him all around show him armenia and even though this russian guy then told the police that they should uh, ask him why why he has money or so on so it was like really famous story here but the point is that locals are super kind and they were happy and don't be afraid and also if you like if your currency is euro or dollar it will be really cheap for you him i really wish you could visit armenia and thank you so much for watching this video to the end i really hope you enjoy it if so don't forget to push the like button and subscribe to my channel and let's show all the world together.